Alright, so hi there everyone. If you're watching this video first, the channel na ito, I make uh, itong free video lessons na math, uh, language, and logic para sa mga aptitude tests like the civil service exam, UPCAT, LIFE, field set, and all those things. Now, this one is uh, a quick quiz on our topic ng inequalities. If you haven't seen the video lesson for this yet, don't forget to click right here dito sa taas, sa i button, para makakatch up kayo. Mas maganda if napanood nyo muna yung lesson bago kayo mag-quiz, right? So, um, ang gagawin natin would be, uh, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung mga questions, and then at the end, I'm going to discuss to you kung ano yung tamang sagot. Okay, and kung paano siya makuha. So, uh, in this one, I'm going to give you three uh, questions, and I'm going to give you five minutes to answer all three questions correctly. Okay, if you're ready, let's do this.
All right, let's see how you did. Let's start with the first one. So, sabi, negative 5x plus 30 is greater than 10. So, again, isasolve lang natin siya. Just being mindful na when you're dealing with negative numbers, ibabalik tad mo yung direction. And also, if you're going to switch yung position ng x. Now, in this case, this is negative 5x. Imove ko to sa kabila. And to do that, gagawin ko siyang minus. So, 10 minus 30. So, negative 5x is greater than 10 minus 30, which is negative 20. Again, I'm just uh, subtracting uh, positive 30 sa positive 10. Kung naguluhan dito ng onte, ibig sabihin hindi pa kayo masyadong magaling sa integers. Panoorin nyo muna yung series ko sa integers. Ililink ko rin siya dito sa taas. Okay. So, negative 5x is greater than negative 20. Iwanan natin yung x sa isang side, so, which means i-divide natin siya both sides by negative 5. And since negative number to ang mangyayari would be itong direction nito, mababalit, mapapalitan siya, magiging ganyan siya. Kasi again, if you're dividing or multiplying by a negative number, babaliktad yung direction nung inequality mo. So, this will be negative 5x divided by negative 5. That will just be x. This is negative 20 divided by negative 5. That is just 4. So, the answer is x is less than 4. Okay, I hope you got that right. So, kung hindi nyo nabaliktad to, go ahead and watch the video lesson. Again, like I told you guys, kapag nag divide or multiply num na ka ng number na negative, babaliktad yung direction nung inyong inequality. Okay? Next, we have this. So, 100 is less than or equal sa 11x plus 14. Again, same rules apply. Ililipat natin to. Magiging minus siya. So, 100 minus 14 is less than or equal to 11x. Here, this will leave you with um, uh, 90, so 86. Okay, is less than or equal to 11x. Okay? And then, ang gagawin lang natin is, i-divide natin both sides by kung ano yung 11, kasi para maiwan yung x sa isang side. So, i-divide natin pareho sa 11. Ganun pa rin ang sign, kasi positive number naman yung divide natin. So, x... And then, this will be 86 over 11. Now, again, it's customary na ang x is on the left side. So, para mabaliktad ko yan, it will still be equal. x, at dahil sa kanya nakaharap yung buaya or yung mouth, this will be like that. And then, 86 over 11. Or, kung gusto nyo i-divide, that would be 7 and... Or, 7 and... Uh, 77 kasi, so 9 over 11. Okay? So, the answer is x is greater than or equal sa 7 and 9 over 11. Okay? So, I hope you got that right. Again, kapag uh, mag-flip ako, ang ibig sabihin lang nun, it's either nag-divide ako ng negative number or pinalitan, pinalitan, pinalitan ko yung direction ng x kasi susundan niya kung ano yung uh, kung saan yung kinakain niyang direction. Okay? Kasi pag binaligtad ko to pero hindi ko binaligtad yung direction, ang mangyayari would be, the answer would be uh, magiging less than uh, 86, which is wrong. Okay? Alright, number 3. So, ito, dalawa siya. And minsan, you would encounter this sa problems. Huwag kayong matakot. Ang gagawin lang dito is, kung ano yung ginama mo dito sa left side, gagawin mo rin sa right side. Yun ang rule. Okay? So, if you're going to solve this, you can either do it na hiwalay, actually, or mas maganda kasi diretsyo para hindi ka magkamali. Okay, let me show you how to do it, okay? So, una sa lahat, tatanggalin natin yung 3. Para matanggal ko yung 3, imumultiply ko siya lahat sa 3. Okay? Kasi magiging 3 over 3 siya or 1. Makakancel ito. So, itong 3, imumultiply ko siya dito. This will be negative 90. Tapos, kopya lang yung sign. Imumultiply ko siya dito, makakancel again yung 3. So, maiwan nyo sa'yo yung x minus 4. And then, imumultiply ko ulit siya sa 12. That would be 36. Okay? Now, uh, ang gagawin ko naman, tatanggalin ko tong negative 4. So, in order for me to do that, babalik ta rin ko. Magiging negative 90 plus 4. Ganyan siya, maiwan yung x. Dito, magpa plus 4 ka rin. So, that would be 36 plus 4. So, you have here, negative 86. It's less than x. It's less than, and then you have uh, 36 plus 4, which is 40. Okay? At dahil itong... Uh, pattern naman yan, wala nang magbabago dyan kasi mas maliit naman talaga yung negative 86 kasi sa 40. The answer would be any number that is greater than 86 and less than 40. Yan yung magiging sagot. Okay? So, I hope you got that right. If you hadn't, uh, if you didn't, then go ahead and watch the video lesson muna. 
Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Don't forget to share this with your, your friends, lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. Makakatulong to sa kanila, lalo na if, if they are taking aptitude tests too. So if you want to reach out to me directly, request a video, or maybe um, just uh, get one of the reviewers that I made, or find out kung meron pang upcoming review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash to uh, talk to me directly. Alright? Thanks guys for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss yung susunod na lesson kasi marami pang ganito coming up. And uh, thank you for watching guys. Never stop learning. Aja-aja kayo niyan. I'll see you in my next video, and bye for now.